Thank you so much for watching, listening. Oh my goodness, I'm totally stoked to introduce <laughs> you, Jonathan Kahn. Hey. So cool to hang out. Always great to be with. Totally fun. Yeah. Kahn, what's the, what's the background for that in Hebrew? Kahn is from, is Hebrew, it's Germanized Hebrew. Kohen, mm -hmm. it means priest, uh, it, means, it means I'm a descendant of Aaron yeah. um, from the house. My father, interesting, his Hebrew name, well, his, his name was basically Aaron. And then if he was named after a few generations before, Aaron. So we don't know how far this goes back, wow. but recent, but not long ago, they did this, DV, this um, DNA study yeah. and found this priestly gene among those who are have a name, Khan or Cohen, wow. um, or those who had the tradition passed, and it's called the priestly gene. And it goes back to one person about 3,000 years ago. Holy buckets. Aaron. Yeah, wow. it's amazing. Huh. Yeah. yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, growing up, I knew about this, but I didn't know what to make of it. But only when I came to the Lord did it mean really mean something because we're all called to be priests and we're all called to be ministers. So when I, the Lord has used this thing about Aaron mm. with my life mm. um, to call me into ministry. Mm. You know, actually, I, uh, there's a whole like, thing, but on my, one of the first days of ministry in my life, I've never shared this, you know. Um, was when I went out to start a ministry to the homeless in New York City before I was, you know, pastor, before I was all that. Sure. Um, and on that day, someone just gave me, they found the, in, a, in a thrift shop, this ancient, this uh, from the 19th century lithograph of Aaron. And they just gave, they didn't know what it said. And in Hebrew, it says, you shall make holy garments for Aaron and his sons that they might minister to me. Mm -hmm. And it was what was given on the first day of the ministry of Aaron and his sons. And that was given to me. Wow. They didn't know it. And, and that day I just <laughs> gone to a thrift shop and I bought a jacket to go out to the city <laughs> and it was Levi's. <laughs> you know, wow. so, so whole garments. Of Levi's. So <laughs> God, but God has always used that in my life. I've yeah. never told this to anybody. Yeah. But he's always used that in my life. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I kind of come back to that and remind yeah. and all that. That's yeah. cool. So you've written a boatload of books. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think you like, do you like writing? I do. I always knew I was supposed to, you know, I, I never did, you know, I was in ministry for years mm -hmm. and I always knew I was supposed to write, but I never had time. I was so busy with yeah. pastoring and all the ministry, you know, you know, all that. and then finally the Lord just said, you just have to make the time. If you don't forget, you know, make the time. And this is the book you have to start, which is the harbinger. You have to do it. And then I just had to block it out and, and trust the Lord for the rest. That's the only way I started. So, so I do, I always, I always knew I was supposed to write. Even, even when I was in elementary school, there were school teachers who said, you're going to write. They didn't, before I knew the Lord, they said, you're, you're supposed to write. Um, and so I do enjoy it. What, what I enjoy most is getting the revelation. Mm. Yeah, that's my favorite part. Download, revelation from God. That's the, the greatest part. Then, then putting it together, then writing it. I mean, it's like giving birth. It, it's labor. You know, you know, it's labor. You got to, every day I have to kind of do like four pages, you know, yeah. you know, so, so it's labor, but I still enjoy, I know that's what I'm supposed to do. And I, I am blessed to do it. Um, it's work, but the, the download, that's my joy. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's what I, mm -hmm. that's what I'm here for. And what's your process? How, how, when you write, what do you do? Well, what the first thing is that it's got to cut. First thing, I, like right now, I just we were just talking that I just did another, you know, just finished a book which is not out yet. Yeah. Um, but the thing is that so now I have to. Now, first thing is I'm praying, Lord, what is it that you want me to write? It? And usually, I already have in my head like things like seven other books that I'm supposed to write, <laughs> you know. But which one is it? And sometimes He says, No, no, I'm going to tell you another one. So that first is that. Then is okay, Lord, you know, show me. So then it's then it's usually about month, two months. Sometimes it's more. Just getting 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 the, the, the download and seeking it out. And sometimes I'll have like, for one book, I'll have like 5,000 pages of notes and all sorts of stuff. So in that two months or whatever yeah. leading, so you do, yeah. you're doing research on I'm, it. I'm getting the stuff yeah. and then, and then it's leading me. Okay. Here's the next, it's like the Harbinger. That's how it happened when I was standing at ground zero. First, the first like, kind of clue, and then it leads to the next. Then I research it leads to the next one, next one. So yeah, I'm researching and it leads to the next and the next and the next. So it's usually, I mean, at two months, it could be more, but of just this, you know, and then I, then I have to start to write, you know, mm -hmm. and to write, uh, basically, I just have to block out uh, my day. Sometimes it's at, at 12 at night, I start to go to four in the morning. Usually it's like four hours a few times a week. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a four-month period from usually January 
to May, April, May, you know, and that's, and that's, that's how almost every book has come, mm. you know, every, yeah. So four hours, five days a week, seven days I a week? I would say, not seven, I don't get that because, you yeah. know, but I would, I would say four days to five days if I'm, if I'm fortunate, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm blessed. I mean, mm -hmm. but so, so uh, yeah, at, sometimes, sometimes beforehand, and I have three kids, so, yeah. so, you know, and, and it's a busy house. Sure. So I have, so sometimes at night when everybody's asleep, that's mm -hmm. the time. Sometimes, sometimes I do it on the plane. I'll always do it in hotel rooms and mm -hmm. I'll, it'll always be on planes as well mm -hmm. because I do every, every time I have time, I'll do it, mm -hmm. you know? So I just start, you know, and I just, every day I try to do about four pages. Mm -hmm. That That's how I try, you know, that, mm -hmm. and, and it takes me about four months, mm -hmm. you know? to do most of the books that I've done. And when you write, so writers write in different processes. Do you, do you edit at the same time? Do you go back and read it? You know, you know, I, I, at one point, my natural thing is to, you know, to edit it all that, but then you, then it, it kind of, it slows you down and it couldn't take off the flow. So generally this one that I just wrote, I tried not to do that much. I said, let's just do it. Just let me just keep doing it. I'll look at it when I'm finished, you know, but, but what I do is I generally look at what did I do yesterday? You know, because let me just look to see if, you know, and then, and that's good because that gets me flowing again, you know? Mm -hmm. So usually I'll just look at, okay, what did I, what did I do last night? And, and then, and then that off. get, you know, I'll, I'll fix it a little bit and that'll get me to do it. So that's, that's as much editing as I do mm -hmm. just to kind of get rolling. In the groove of it. Yeah. 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 And then do you find there are certain times of the day, like in your life, you, you don't have the luxury of picking when you get to write <laughs> right. because of everything. Yeah. So, except but if, for late. Yeah. But if you could pick a time of the day. It's hard to say because I think, I think in the morning I'm most, you have most energy, but at night there's no, there's nothing going on, you know? So. And you're not tired by then? I am tired, but, but I'm also a night person. So I, so, I mean, if I'm too tired, I can't because you, you got to be. Yeah. And sometimes I'm concerned that I'm writing when I'm tired. And then, <laughs> wait a minute, let me look at what I yeah, wrote. Exactly. Like, say, so, but the thing is that, the, but generally, I mean, I can write at any time of day, but, but generally I end up doing most is when, when everybody's asleep and the world is asleep and I'm just there with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's generally the best time because mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but aside from that, it's any time that opens up, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. as long as I'm not too tired. Yeah. So, in you said a lot of times January to April, yes, May, most June, of the time, almost every time. That's so. Then subsequent to that, yeah. you create. So, and do you use Word for your writing? I do it in Word. Yeah, yeah I do it in Word. Um, and uh, yeah, I do it in Word. And then, and then I, then when I'm, then when I finish, you know, then I look at. Okay, then I spend a week to then read it over. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll make all sorts of changes. So that that'll count as the second draft. Usually a week. Sure. Then I'll send it in to the editor, you know, to our Charisma. Yeah. Um, and then meanwhile, I'll be, if I have to change things, I'll be worried. So for the first time, we're doing this thing, which I've never done, where we, we have a shared file. So I've never yeah. done that before. And so whatever I do, they see whatever they, I, they do, I have to approve, but it's on, the, on one file. That's where it is now. So we usually, then the final thing is we go back and forth and then I read it one more time. And put the last things, okay, this and so. Sometimes I take out chapters. Sometimes I put in chapters. Um, you know, when I did The Return of the Gods, which is the latest book, um, I cut it in half because there was so much going, so much. It was so much that I said, no, you know, and I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And I said, if you want me, you know, we don't put, I'm not saying God always speaks this way, sure. but I'm in the Bible. I said, give me something about dividing, it's like the divide, divide, divide. Wow. So, I, so the return of the gods is one part of it. And there's going to be another, there's going to be a sequel, the return of the gods too, mm -hmm. because I just said, I have to cut this in half. Yeah. So that happens too in that, you know, yeah. then usually, so then, then this is June, this is like, uh, we'll get this say around June back they'll be doing the final stuff, send it to the editor, the mm -hmm. end of June, September, it's on the shelves. It's at Walmart. Wow. It's at, it's at everywhere. Wow. You know? yeah. That's cool. That's, that's a why quick I have turnaround. to stay, Yeah. That's why I have to stay on schedule. Yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Interesting. And so have you had the same editor that you work with or different yeah, ones? Yeah, well, well, Charisma is, yeah. is, is, is my, and, and what, is it okay to tell you how yeah, that yeah. happened? All right. It's, it's a cool thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have any, I didn't have any publisher and they didn't, I was known in the Messianic world, but nobody knew me. Sure, the, the, sure. The, you know. So, uh, the, so the day I finished The Harbinger, okay, I'm headed on a plane to Dallas, uh, to Promise Keepers. And on the plane... I mean, I'm not, on the stop, it stops in Charlotte. I bow my head. I said, Lord, because people tell me, you got you to brand yourself. You got to get this agent. Yeah. I said, I said, I just bow my head. I said, Lord, 
This is your message. You know how to get messages out. Yeah. You do it. I open my eyes. There's a man sitting next to me. And he says, so what's the good word? I said, what's the good word? I said, I said, God loves you. He says, well, he says, I know that, but what's the good word? I'm saying, so I'm sharing, I'm trying to save this guy. He's trying to save me. <laughs> so ah. We're both saved. And it turns out, and, and it turns out this man is a believer and he, he is gifted in the spirit. And he says, Jonathan, you've written a book. This book is of God. It's going to spread across the country and across the world. You, uh, you've been known, but you're going to be known much more. So he says, all these things happen. He starts handing me $100 bills. He says, God's going to multiply your ministry 100 times. Goes, and now, now here's the other part, Sarah. This is, the, uh, this, is, this is how it happened. This is how the harbinger went out. It's only by that, that meeting. The thing is that there was a guy named David Tyree, Super Bowl uh, G- New York Giants. He made a famous catch called the helmet catch. Uh-huh. People heard about it, but he's a believer. When he went into that game, somebody had told him, God's going to do something to cause you to have a platform to, to glorify God. And it was going to be that catch. It happened. So he, he ended up writing a book about it with charisma. And he mentioned the guy who gave him the word, who was, the, who was this prophetic word. It's the guy sitting next wow. to me at the airport. And so because of David Tyree's Super Bowl catch, <laughs> because of that, yeah. that put this guy in touch with Steve Strang of Charisma. Oof. So he sends word from the airport, says, you'll never, I met this Jewish guy, you'll never believe it. Yeah. And then, and from that encounter, Steve Strang calls me and says, we heard about the, this thing called the Harbinger. We have no idea what it is, but we're interested. Mm. And that's how the Harbinger went wow. forward to the world. Totally supernatural. Yeah. You know? Yeah. God opens doors. Yeah. So in your writing here, have you ever had setbacks or disappointments? Uh, disappointments of? When when you're in a writing, like it, you're doing a book, yeah. it's a project. Yes. And you're on it, but in the whole experience, have you had some setbacks or disappointments? You're like, ooh, that was disappointing. With the way it's coming out? With the way the book's coming out? Anything. Um, I've never had like writer's block. Yeah. I, I've never had that. I've never had that because I usually from the beginning, I know what I'm going to say. Mm. I mean, I may not know how I'm going to say, it, but I know what I'm going to say. Um, so everything goes that way. But what I do, what I have had is spiritual warfare. Um, and yeah. that is, that is almost uh, not the last two, one so much, but almost every one of the seven books that I've written, when it go, when the day it gets released, all hell breaks, has mm. broken loose. A uh, one, uh, one of them went out when when the harbinger went out. A f- uh, hurricane came to our building and flooded us out. Okay. We were we had no place, four wow. feet of water, no place. Uh, when the next one came out, I was in the hospital on that day with a mysterious illness that paralyzed me. It was an infection, paralyzed me. They didn't know what. I w- the day of the release, uh, when another one came out, also I feel this 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 mess. What's it? My appendix burst, I, I, and I was I was in the so I get wow. <laughs> get so pray for me. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean it's a good sign. Yeah, but but yeah, yeah that it's been dramatic. That yeah, yeah, that's the last one. Not so much. So I'm 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 glad about that. Yeah, you know. And I know too, you've dabbled in fiction a little bit. Yes, more than a little. Yeah, yes. And and the thing with that is this: when I first wrote the Harbinger, I wrote it nonfiction. Yeah. And then as soon as when I finished, it was like the Lord said, "Okay, rewrite the whole thing now." And and it was and it was because listen, you know, God uses parables, God uses stories to communicate. So I said, do that, and and more people are going to get this because it's a very heavy, deep thing. People are going to get it. That as when I got that. Within two hours, the whole story came to me, like mm. a download. And then when I started writing with this prophet talking, and it wrote itself. I mean, it's the easiest thing I ever did. Once I, So about, I would say right now, or may, about half of the books I've written have done with the story. It's all, it's all, it's all real and nonfiction, but I use the story to, to make it. So about half of them have the story, um, the, the, Harbin, the Harbinger, Harbinger 2, Oracle, um, and uh, book of mysteries. Book of mysteries. Yeah, and the, the one. But then on the other hand, uh, other ones. The paradigm is nonfiction total. Yeah. Uh, the, the the return of the gods is yep. nonfiction, and uh, other ones. And the next one, this one that I'm working on is not. So it all depends. Mm-hmm. It all depends. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Totally cool. Love it. And you write too. So I this do. Is what you're at. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm asking you because I'm asking yeah. as an author to yeah. an author, right? Because yeah. the whole writing process is. Interesting. Yeah, and it's different for everybody. It is. Yeah, it's exactly right. So Stephen King, the <laughs> famous Stephen yes. King, if you he has a book out called On Writing. Okay. And it's basically his autobiography, and he talks about you know how he got into writing and his upbringing and all this, and then he talks about his process and you know his goal is two thousand words every day. 
And 2,000 words every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because, you know, you're like four pages every day. Yeah, and, I don't and know what that is. I have to check that I out. I know. And it's to figure out the word count per yeah. page and all that. But it's interesting because, and same, you know, I'm comparing what how you write and how yeah. I write and, yeah. and the flow of it. Because there yeah. is a flow to it. And then, yeah. you know, pick up, do I write, edit, write. And so I'm the same and, way. And you have to get into the flow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if so much is going on, yeah. you can't, yeah. you know, like sometimes when I have, you know, with my, my boys and yeah. I love them all along. Yeah. But so, Dad, can I, okay, okay, and then the, then mm -hmm. I'm just getting back at Dad. Yeah. Okay, you remember, yeah. like, I need that flow. Yeah. You have to get into that flow. Yeah, you know, and you, and you and you have to hear from God. You yeah. know, we have something that Stephen King doesn't. Yeah. is that we have to hear from the yeah, Lord. Yeah, and exactly. that, Lord, what do you want? Yeah. What do you want with yeah. this? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I get time away, somebody loaned me their like mountain condo oh, yeah, for that, a couple days. Holy buckets! I mean, that's a good 10, that's 12 it. hour days, and you're like, yeah. woof, yeah. getting after it. I find sometimes if I write long, a lot longer than four hours. I'll start yeah. getting played out, yeah. you know, so it's okay. You have to take a break, yeah. go yeah. out, take a walk. Yeah, yeah, clear your yeah. head a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. Thank you. I love it. Oh, amen. This is totally cool. Amen. Hey, this is great content. Oh, my goodness. If you have ever written, you want to write a book, anything like that, or you have a friend who wants to write, leave your comments there. What do you want to write about? What's, what's an interesting topic to you? Um, and you could share this with friends that are writers and all that. So super exciting, fun <laughs> content. Sorry that I did not give you your joke at the beginning. Oh. Isn't that bad? Oh, bad. it's got to be good. This is going to be the final I know. Thing. This is like the grand finale. <laughs> it's not about Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do when you're being attacked by a group of clowns? You go for the juggler. <laughs> Remember You're like, that. that is so stupid. I know, right? Next week will be a boatload better. Thanks for subscribing and catch you later.